Have you ever gazed at the night sky and wondered if there might be other advanced civilizations out there in the vast universe? It's a question that tickles the human mind, stirring up a blend of curiosity, fear, and excitement. What if there are civilizations far beyond our own? Civilizations that have harnessed the power of their entire planet, their star, or even their galaxy? What kind of technology and knowledge might they possess? To understand this, we need a system to classify these potential civilizations. Enter the Kardashev scale. The Kardashev scale, proposed by Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev, is a method of measuring a civilization's level of technological advancement. It's a fascinating concept that can be broken down into three original levels. Imagine a civilization that has advanced so far, it can harness and control the energy at the scale of its entire planet. This is what we call a Type I civilization. They figured out how to utilize the full potential of their home planet, from the deepest ocean currents to the highest winds. But this is just the beginning of our cosmic journey. Now, let's take a giant leap forward to a Type II civilization. This isn't just about controlling the energy of a planet, but an entire star. Picture a civilization that has built colossal structures around their sun, capturing every single ray of light and converting it into usable energy. It's a mind-boggling concept, isn't it? But the Kardashev scale doesn't stop there. Finally, we arrive at the Type III civilization. This civilization has access to power comparable to that of an entire galaxy. They've transcended their star system and now harness the energy of billions of stars. It's an idea so grand, it's beyond our current comprehension. These three levels form the core of the Kardashev scale a way for us to understand the potential progression of civilizations, not just on Earth, but across the cosmos. It's a scale that measures not just technological prowess, but the sheer audacity of a civilization's ambition to master the universe. But we aren't stopping there. Some have expanded upon Kardashev's original concept. Beyond the initial three, the expanded Kardashev scale goes up to Type 7 civilizations. Now, let's dive into these advanced cosmic societies. Type 4 civilizations, the first in our expanded scale, have moved beyond their galaxy, harnessing the energy of a galactic supercluster. Imagine a civilization so advanced, it could manipulate the energy output of not just one galaxy, but multiple galaxies together. Moving forward, we reach Type V civilizations. These are entities that have managed to harness the energy of the entire universe. They've turned every star, every galaxy, every piece of cosmic dust into an energy source. The sheer concept can make our heads spin, right? But we're not stopping there. Type C civilizations are even more awe-inspiring. They've transcended our universe and can manipulate energy across multiple universes. They're not bound by the laws of our universe and can potentially make and break universes at will. Yes, it's wild to think about. Finally, we arrive at the apex, Type 7 civilizations. These entities have reached the pinnacle of energy manipulation and technological mastery. They harness the energy of the multiverse, a theoretical concept encompassing all possible universes, including our own. Within the multiverse, there could be universes with different physical laws, different timelines, and unimaginable phenomena. A Type 7 civilization would have the power to harness it all. They would be, for all intents and purposes, omnipotent. This is mind-boggling to consider, but where does humanity stand on this scale? So, where do we, as humans, stand on this expansive scale? Let's take a moment to ponder this question. The Kardashev scale, as we've learned, is a measure of a civilization's technological advancement based on the amount of energy they can harness. Now, if we think about our own civilization, you might feel that we've come a long way. We've split the atom, built skyscrapers that scrape the sky, 
and even sent our own kind to the moon. We've harnessed the power of the wind, water and sun to create electricity. We've even begun to explore the potential of nuclear energy. However, when we look at the Kardashev scale, we get a different perspective. Our achievements, as impressive as they might seem, don't even place us at Type 1. We're somewhere around 0.7 on this scale. Surprising, isn't it? Let's break it down. A Type 1 civilization, according to the Kardashev scale, is one that can harness and control the entire energy of its home planet. That's every gust of wind, every ray of sunshine, every drop of water in our oceans, and every atom in our Earth's crust. Now, think about that for a moment. We're still dependent on fossil fuels, a resource that's not only finite, but also damaging to our planet. We're yet to fully harness renewable energy sources. We've only begun to scratch the surface of nuclear power. In other words, we're far from harnessing the total energy of our planet. But let's not be disheartened. Remember, the Kardashev scale is not a measure of a civilization's worth or potential. It's a yardstick for technological advancement. And we, as a species, are constantly advancing, constantly striving to better ourselves. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? But it also gives us a goal to strive for. We may be at 0.7 on the Kardashev scale now, but who knows where we could be in a hundred, a thousand, or even a million years. The future is as wide and as limitless as the universe itself. It's fascinating to imagine what these advanced civilizations could look like, isn't it? When we ponder upon the potential advancements and capabilities of higher-level civilizations, we're not just daydreaming. We're opening our minds to a realm of possibilities that might actually exist somewhere in the vast cosmos. Let's take a journey through this realm. Picture a civilization that has mastered interstellar travel. They've broken free from the shackles of their home planet, or even their home galaxy, exploring and colonizing distant star systems. Imagine the wealth of knowledge and experience they would accumulate. They would not just be observers of the universe, but active participants, shaping their cosmic journey. Now, let's take it a step further. Imagine a civilization capable of manipulating space and time. They've transcended the constraints of the physical universe as we know it. For them, traversing through wormholes or bending space-time might be as common as hopping on a bus is for us. They could potentially visit any point in space or time at will. Lastly, let's envision a civilization so advanced that they can harness energy from black holes. These cosmic behemoths, once feared for their destructive power, are now a source of infinite energy. They've tapped into a power that can fuel their civilization for eons, making the concept of energy scarcity a distant memory. These are just a few examples of what future civilizations could achieve. They may sound like ideas straight out of a science fiction novel, but remember that every reality was once a dream. Every invention, every discovery, every leap of progress was once an idea that seemed impossible. Advanced civilizations may seem like a concept from science fiction, but who knows what the future holds? The Kardashev scale is more than just a measure of technological advancement. It's a beacon, illuminating the vast cosmic expanse before us. This scale doesn't just categorize the progress of civilizations, it provides a roadmap for our future, a route that might lead us to the farthest corners of the universe. Imagine, for a moment, our species harnessing the energy of an entire planet, then a star, a galaxy, and even beyond. It's a daunting yet exhilarating prospect. Each step forward on this scale is a testament to the potential of human ingenuity and resilience, a nod to our relentless pursuit of knowledge and advancement. But the Kardashev scale isn't just about the future. It's also a mirror reflecting our place in the universe. We're currently somewhere between Type 0 and Type 1 a humbling reminder of our nascent stage in the cosmic scheme of things. But it also highlights our potential, the heights we could reach if we continue to innovate, explore and dream. This scale is a tool, a guide, 
and a reminder. It reminds us of our journey so far, the challenges we've overcome, and the questions we've yet to answer. It guides us towards the future, showing us the path to becoming not just residents of Earth, but citizens of the cosmos. As we gaze at the stars, we can't help but wonder what the future holds for us and how far we'll climb on the Kardashev scale.